So one of the very first tools that we use is a microphone, and you need to understand um, what microphones to choose for what applications and why they're best. You have basically um, two major groups of microphones that most churches would have access to. The first is dynamic mics, and that's what these. Uh, this one is a dynamic mic. Um, it's a good old SM58, and it's actually a Beta 58 with a blue stripe on it here, but. Um, it's a good handheld vocal microphone, and it's going to give you a good present sound. Now, a dynamic microphone... Oh, excuse me. How, yeah. how much does that microphone cost? This microphone, you can pick it up for $125, okay. something like that. Okay. And a dynamic microphone doesn't need any power. It's it's a passive thing, so it's got a, it's got a diaphragm in there with a voice coil and a magnets, and it kind of gets its power through the magnets. And, um, and so it doesn't have a big frequency range. It's kind of warm and, and not real bright and not a real extended low frequency content. But, um, but it's a really good all-around microphone for and, vocals. And durable as well. And durable, yeah. It, yeah. It handles, and, yeah. and every manufacturer makes a dynamic, a version of the dynamic mics. Now, there's different kinds. Usually with the round ball or the larger windscreen on them like that, these would be vocal mics. And the reason for that is that you've actually got a windscreen in there, so our P's and H's don't pop as much mm -hmm. with them. And um, and it's just a good all-around mic. It also works great in a live setting being a dynamic mic because it doesn't, it's not as sensitive as other kinds of mics, which I'll talk about in a second. So with dr loud drums and all of that stuff, it tends to behave itself and isolate more to the sound that is coming out of your voice. Don actually has a condenser mic there. It's a, a nice uh, Neumann mic. That one would go for about seven hundred dollars, and a condenser mic has um, is powered, so you actually get run power through the mic cable, uh, forty eight volt phantom power we call it, and it's got um, you know electricity in it, and so it it's able to get a, a a wider frequency response, more highs, it's more sensitive. Um, they also come with different designs where you might use them for more distant miking on a choir. Um, overheads on drums, uh, acoustic guitars, things that need, you know, pretty a lot of high end and a more sensitive kind of approach. So those are the two major groups. Um, within this, them, you've got different designs. You've got instrument mics and choir mics and vocal mics and drum mics and, and all of that. So it's important for you to make sure that you've got the right microphone for the right um, thing. The other, the other thing that's interesting about microphones is the pickup pattern on them. They, they call it the polar pattern. Um, these both are condenser or um, are uh, cardioid pickup pattern. So that means it's heart shaped. You've got a, a lobe like this. And if you're looking at this mic, I'm going to just looking at this mic, it picks up more from this direction and it rejects from this direction. So you're able to um, aim it at something and kind of isolate extraneous noises from around it. You have other mics that might be omnidirectional that pick up equally from all sides. Mm -hmm. You also have microphones that are figure eight patterns and they might pick up from two sides and have rejection from from the opposite sides, the opposite yeah. corners there. The other thing is how you aim the microphone. So like, for example, on a drum set, think about it. You've got, you know, toms and snare and kick drum and cymbals and you've got all this stuff and you've got multiple mics all over your drum set. So you want to be careful about leakage and things um, on stage. So a lot of times you'll aim your mics, you'll get um, cardioid uh, patterned microphones and you'll aim them. So like if I'm aiming at a tom tom, I'm going to aim it away from the cymbals that are above it and aim it at the tom tom. So I'm not getting a lot of cymbals in the tom tom mic and it's so important for you just to think through as you're setting up your microphones that's why i would choose sometimes in concert if we're on a big stage or tim the drummer is in a, a drum booth i'll give don this microphone because it's it sounds best on his voice it's got all that great presence but if we're on a live stage and it's a small stage and tim's right behind don i'll use this microphone because again i don't have to worry as much about all the leakage uh, yeah. from the drums.